if you know that an imam has committed a major sin and he has not repented from it, should you pray behind him? Or is it permissible to pray behind him? Uh, number one, if you know that any person has committed a sin, whether an imam or an ordinary person, your role is to cover him up, not to disclose his sin. So am I not uh, advised to give him the nasiha, enjoin what's right and forbid what's evil? Of course, you should, but in private, not to talk about it in public, not to try to ridicule him or discredit him or expose his faults. This is what the Prophet said to the person who encouraged Ma'id to go to the Prophet and confess that he committed adultery. He said it would have been better if you concealed his fault, if you asked him to ask Allah for forgiveness and did not speak about his fault. So as satru awla, to cover up is better and superior before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Except if that person is used to this kind of sin and he will be a mean of fitna or trial to others. When this person is used to do things of what you've mentioned and it is known to people in this case no you cannot pray behind him because he's not just an ordinary rebellious or a person who committed sin he's a mujahir he's a person who does the sin in public and he brags about it so he can cause fitna to other Muslims and be an evil example for the followers so he should not be followed and people have to be warned against him but if it is something like every human being commits sins and sometimes we indulge into errors, sometimes even major errors, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the of forgiving the most merciful. You said that he has not repented. May I ask you, how do you know that he has not repented? It is something, because you say it, a sin. You did not say that he's constantly doing the same sin. So I cannot judge the person's intention whether he repented or not. My advice to you is go to this person in private and give a nice introduction. Remind him with his role in leading his followers in the jama'ah, reading the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being a role model to others and how much the people benefit out of him and how much danger he can cause to his followers and disappointment if they know that He's involved in this kind of major sin, as you said. So this is the best way. And the Prophet ﷺ said, الدين النصيحة. The hadith of Tamim ibn Aws in the Dari, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet ﷺ said, our religion is all about an nasiha. Nasiha literally means to give an advice. And to give an advice, the word nasiha in this hadith has a much more specific meaning which is sincerity. Deen al nasiha religion is all about sincerity. So when you give advice to the readers, when you give advice to the common folk, you give it with sincere intention, not with the purpose of disclosing their faults, rather to change the wrong to the right and the bad to the good. Barakallahu feek.